Tessa Benham alongside Cheryl Pounder. So the Montreal Canadiens kick off the three-game road trip in Sin City and walk away with one point, a hard-fought shootout loss. Nonetheless, with every game, Cheryl, comes a learning lesson and something you have to take from each game before you throw it away. So for you, what was the silver lining in this game? What are you telling to the team after this one? Well, first of all, you're playing the reigning Stanley Cup champions, and, and you know how tough that they are, and they were going to be coming into the game, and you found a way to compete through all three periods. I thought they had an excellent game. They closed quickly, and they had pushback. They attacked. They played to win and compete, and look at that. Nick Suzuki in his 300 game gets his second of the season back door to finish it off and how about Montebo Jack Eichel penalty shot denied but I mean this one would go to overtime and you always need timely saves in Montebo we we thought this was in test because we had no idea that his right pad could outreach to make that save and Nick Suzuki having himself a game magic mitts look at that little shiftiness to put it be by Hill who had himself a game and then it's Newhook. Man, Newhook off of the bar post tonight. Just unable to convert on that. But you got to give some credit to Aiden Hill, who also had a masterful game. Absolutely. Sean Monaghan opened the scoring for the Montreal Canadiens. That's goals in three straight games. As you mentioned, Nick Suzuki scoring in his 300th NHL career game against the team that had drafted him yep. back in 2017. And as for Sam Montebo, one heck of a game on his 27th birthday. Yep. Walks away with one point.